Good morning, everyone. Welcome to sports. Anytime UL and LSU meets up in any athletic event, it is guaranteed that the heat will be dialed up. But no series is as consistent or as competitive as the Cajuns and Tigers when they meet up on the baseball diamond. Hard to find an empty seat at the Teague with LSU visiting Lafayette for the first time since 2013. A lot of houses divided in the hub city tonight. Top of the first Lafayette product, Antoine Duplantis gets things started for the Tigers. His ground rule double is going to place him at second base. So next up, Bo Jordan, the bar product, barrels one to center. Duplantis is going to score and it's one nothing LSU. Colton Schmidt, though, settled down after this. Top of the fifth, he strikes out the side. He finished with eight innings pitched with five strikeouts while allowing only one run. The Cajuns' bats struggled until the bottom of the eighth with small ball would lead to big plays with runners on second and third. Hunter Castle with the suicide squeeze scoring Gavin Bourgeois and Daniel LaHare. Louisiana takes a two to one lead. A couple batters later, freshman Hayden Cantrell comes up with a big hit to center to extend the lead to three to one. So top of the ninth, LSU down to their last out. Austin Bain on an 0-2 pitch is going to crush this one to the wall. He scores Hunter Fiducia and Bryce Jordan, and we have free baseball at Russo Park. So now to the bottom of the 10th, Cajuns find themselves with bases loaded for Jonathan Windham. He hits a shallow fly to left, and it is going to land just short of Zach Watson. It drops. The Cajuns win. Wyndham delivers the walk-off to lift UL to the 4-3 to three victory. We had it down to the end. We, 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 we made a pitching mistake and got a ball up right there. And, but we came back and credit to him. He comes back and throws it, hangs up another zero for us. And then uh, they walk one freshman and the next freshman wins the ball game. So that's pretty good. Man, you know, I, I really needed that. I was going 0 for 4 and I came up. Hayden, Hayden was lucky enough to get on, and I, I told myself as soon as I got up to the plate, I was like, if you want greatness, you got to go and get it yourself. And sure enough, I, I knew a fastball was coming, so I swung at it. UO men's basketball.